Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core Statistics, Question 2, Unbiased Random Sampling. And just in case you're wondering about this concept of unbiased random sampling, um, random sampling is a technique in which each individual or thing, okay, like all these marbles in the containers, in a study sample has an equal probability of being chosen, okay? So a sample chosen randomly is meant to be an unbiased representation of some particular total population. Let's delve into the question and inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your complete study packages. Question two. Unbiased random sampling. Which method of collecting data would most likely result in an unbiased random sample? Is it one, selecting every third teenager, leaving a movie theater to answer a survey about entertainment? Is it going to be two, placing a survey in a local newspaper to determine how people voted in the 26th 16 presidential election? Is it going to be three? Selecting students by their school ID to be surveyed about cafeteria food? Or is it going to be four? Surveying honor students taking algebra two, <laughs> would you look at that, trigonometry, to determine the average amount of students, um, average amount of time rather, students in the school spend doing homework each night. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so hopefully by now you arrived at the correct answer choice, and if not, that's completely fine, okay? Let's analyze each, each answer choice. Okay, so answer choice one. Selecting every third person, um, should get a random sample of people who went to that movie, but those people may not be representative of everyone in the target population at large, and this is the definition of bias. Again, the definition of bias in sampling is when the sample, the selected few, are not representative of the total larger population, okay? So this is probably not a good way to get a representative sample, because this is a form of undercoverage bias. You're, you know, restricting the population to teens who actually like entertainment in the form of movies. So it's going to be a no for me on answer choice one. What about answer choice two? Placing um, a survey in a local newspaper about the 2016 presidential election. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Not all people read the local paper. In addition, you'll get some responses from people who take the time out to fill out and return a survey. And those people may not be as busy as the people who didn't respond, people who you know are working long shifts and they may, you know, briefly read the paper but not actually take the time out to report their opinions anonymously in a survey, okay? And um, this is called self, a self-selected sample, and it creates a voluntary response bias because the people, again, who choose to respond to the survey may not be representative of everyone in the target population. All right, and there's a certain cohort or group of people who actually volunteer their time to fill out these surveys. I don't know a lot of people who actually fill out these things and then mail them in. Maybe online, but it's a special type of person who would actually fill this out in the paper and mail it in, okay? So it's going to be a no for me as well on answer choice two. Now, as far as answer choice three, 
selecting students by their school ID number. Assuming that the last digit of the school ID number is random, this should be a pretty good way of getting a representative sample. So I'm going to temporarily keep this and take a look at answer choice four. Now, this sample is limited to honor students. It would not be representative of a whole student body. Even if you wanted data about honor students, not all honor students take algebra two trigonometry. So this still would not be a good sample. Four is going to be a no as well. Therefore, um, yeah, selecting the um, students by their school ID to be surveyed about cafeteria food seems to be the best answer choice in this scenario. All right, thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.